so welcome to my channel and welcome to another Hamilton Let's Play episode. I'm really excited to be back with another one. Mm, it's quickly becoming my favorite series of the week, but I don't know anymore because I love all of my Let's Play so much at the moment. But we're currently looking at Peggy. I still have pr troubles pronouncing her name, I'm sorry. And she has quite a shocked <laughs> look on her face and that's because they went home. And she is supposed to be at school. And look who's standing right there. That's the one and only Philip Schuyler. <laughs> her dad. Who basically just caught her not going to school. So I kind of want her dad to sort of maybe talk to her. There we go. Lecture about responsibilities. There we go. And then maybe Peggy can go to school Anyway, it's late, but you know, better late than never. She's still dazed from the cursed law trade. Go to school. <laughs> those faces. <laughs> oh, I love these sims so much. Look at those faces. I just went up to them to take a screenshot and that's the best screenshot ever. Anyway, Peggy is going to school, but the reason why we're here, first of all, I furnished the downstairs thing of this house and I completely did that by using rooms of the gallery and sort of moving them around a little. I decorated this one by myself, this area, this small area, but this bathroom I decorated by myself, but this is something I downloaded off the gallery. This is the kitchen, the butler area. So this is our butler who is going to be living in this house too. Um, I should probably assign her bed. Let's do that. Uh, that's probably the dead job to do. So, um, is assign bed to butler. So I have this little area for the butler. She has her own little, I guess she has like everything you need in a home, uh, a living room and um, a kitchen, bedroom and a bathroom. She has a pretty good, like compared to what Washington has for their butler, for his butler. Um, this is like really generous. She has like a really big, part of the house like her own little space and i like that and then there's this little corridor leading to, up to the um dining area so she can serve the food and everything um i feel like the scarlers would be very generous to their butlers if they even had them at the time i don't know uh but the reason i'm actually here first of all to show off the house but i already did that um let's not look at the first floor please um nope <laughs> I'm not done yet. This house is so big. So the second reason we're here, I'm completely lost now. The second reason we're here is because we voted on what Angelica's job should be. Um, and I just want to quickly do this because I have other plans for this episode. But anyway, on Twitter, the politician career won. And on YouTube, the um, the thingy, the... the my god. Secret agent career won. Uh, and I'm going, I'm, I'm going to, like count my vote which means that secret agents will win uh and the reason i'm voting for secret agents is because we already have a lot of politicians in this let's play um when i voted it when i counted it i'm sorry um because i can't like it's not like an up-to-date as of right now vote thing because you can like put a timer on the voting on twitter so it ended and now i know the final end result but on youtube it's just going to continue so when i voted it there was a uh, counted it oh my god there were nine votes for secret agents and nine votes for politician like in total so twitter and youtube combined since there's more votes on youtube so that's why they had the same amount of votes even though separate things won um and I am going to count my vote, which means that Secret Agent will have 10 votes. Normally I don't do this, but I will do it when we have a draw tie. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Um, it's the same the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have her be a Secret Agent since we already have a lot of politicians. I like her to be a politician. I mean, I like that for her, but I also like Secret Agent. I talked about this in the last episode. Uh, because I feel like Angelica is like the most badass person ever. So if anyone is going to be a Secret Agent... Um, it should be here. And obviously Mulligan. Like we are we are so going to make Mulligan a secret agent since he literally was a spy. <laughs> so both um Mulligan and Angelica are going to be secret agents. And I feel like Angelica would like that to sort of be a part of uh, helping people and you know. She likes knowing stuff. I feel like that's like a, such um 
a big part of who she is. She likes to know information. Like she wrote so many letters when she was in London to the United States, like asking for information and how everyone was doing and, you know, sort of still being involved in everyone's life. So I feel like she would like to be a secret agent just to know all the information. So that's what I'm having her do. So now it's decided she is a secret agent. So she has a job now. I also want to um, ha to have Eliza join a career. Not that money is a problem, but it's just like something they like to do on their own. I'm going to have Eliza join the politician career, but I'm going to have her take the uh, charity route. Route. I don't know what the correct pronunciation is. <laughs> because, hey, that's Max. Hi, Max. Um, anyway, uh, I... Oh, that's a purple skin... H Hello, that's a weird skin tone. Anyway, I'm going to have her be a, a politician so she can take the charity um, thing. Because, like, the charity organizer is what she's going to be. Because she did do a lot of charity work in her life, so that's what I want her to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to cheat her promotion yet. I... Ooh, that's that's going to be a nice screenshot um i'm sorry that's i got distracted there for a second uh kind of need this as a screenshot she you know because of reasons um okay there we go <laughs> sorry distracted by screenshots it's my life now um <laughs> anyway uh i don't know if i'm going to cheat her career to have her already in that career branch i did do that for the next one we're going to visit and that is george washington so i will see you when we get there yay we're here at mount vernon with george who is apparently practicing his chess skills sure uh i just want to thank the creator of this build again because oh my god it's beautiful it's perfect i wanted to build it on my own but this i'm not going to do better than this so um I'm, yeah here you go it's it's perfect it's beautiful and i yep that's all i wanted to say anyway we have the main house where george lives on his own as of right now because i don't know what i'm going to do with his career or friends or whatever uh he does have Two different places to live. One is in the city because he does do the he does have the politician career, which makes sense that he might want to be in the city for that. And I have one at Newcrest with all the, the other Sims. He has a um, house there too. But for now, I'm having him live at Mount Vernon because it's beautiful. He also has a butler. Um, not sure where the butler is at the moment. Oh, there's the butler. Hello. Wait. Pause the game. Pause the game. So I can introduce you to our butler who is quite handsome by the way like i didn't change anything and he's he's quite handsome the other butler was kind of a mess but he's actually handsome so that's nice and um so this is what we need to do for his promotion reach level five charisma skill secure two votes and choose a cost to support so the first thing i want to do is choose a cost to support and i'm pretty sure that you need to do that on a computer but he doesn't have one so let's go buy that first sorry my voice just went all the way up <laughs> like this <laughs> Oh my god, I'm weird. But you probably already knew that. Let's get him career. No, that's just changing his career, right? I don't want that. I want him to choose a cause. More choices. Socialized order, right? Joke, pride, high household, no. Web. Browse art, no. Um, More choices. How would you write... Order, socialize, no. So it's not on a computer. So how do you choose a cost then? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I'm, he's not going to choose a cost for now. But what I really, really want to do is for him to meet Alexander. Because uh, George Washington is kind of like a father figure to Alexander. And I kind of want to continue that in this Let's Play. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I will see you when we get there. Change of plans. I actually brought Alexander here because he was still at Burr's house. And that would have been like a problem. Uh, <laughs> would have been like, I don't know, too much effort to have George visit. visit. But let's knock on this door. If this is the front door and I'm allowed to do that. And let's meet george with alexander i'm also going to go to the Lawrence lafayette household i feel like this isn't set as a front door so i should be here and knock on this door i was right okay let's go 
let's speed this up. Hope George is still here. I don't know. I want to call him Washington, but I also want to call him George. Hello, butler. I feel like Alexander would be really, really nice to the butlers. I also feel like he... I don't know. I don't know if he would have butlers. Um, like, on the one hand, he always works, so it would be nice, but I don't know if he would. So I feel like he would be friends with him. Um, <laughs> also, in this line, he's like... Shining angel from heaven. <laughs> Aw, okay. Let's do a heartfelt compliment. Probably complimenting him about his work. That he's doing a good job and everything. Cute. Okay. Well, let's do what we actually came here to do. Which is meet George. If we can find him somewhere. Um, I'm hoping he is in. I don't know if butlers can open doors. Um, I don't. Oh, there he is. He's still at the computer. That's nice. Okay, so we can actually meet him. And I wanted to be in, I don't know, let's, I want to see if I can switch households really quickly. I don't know if that's like a, or I, maybe I can add him. Mm. Should I add him to the family just for now? Let's do it. So they can all meet and yeah, there we go. I will separate them. Oh, no, is the money going to be a problem? I don't know. Uh, I will fix this <laughs> later. <laughs> um, anyway. I want you to go talk to Hamilton. So you can secure a vote and work on your charisma skill. Two birds in one stone. But then again, I don't think that Hamilton... That uh, Washington would go into the kitchen like that. So maybe they can... Um, why is he happy? What's that? buff or whatever pleasant conversation that's nice maybe they can go somewhere maybe sit down in this garden area even though it's like a wedding thing but it's pretty so i want them to sit down here sit together but then he's going to sit wait no just sit just sit and then i'm going to make george or washington i'm not sure what i'm going to be calling him yet i think washington i like washington it sounds very formal I feel like that's the proper way to address a for, like future, in my let's play at least, future president, world leader, as it's called. Okay, here we go. Uh, obviously, we need screenshots. Oh, congratulations on getting a big promotion at work. You deserved it. Well, thank you. I don't know you, but thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, obviously, we need screenshots of the first time that George Washington and Hamilton meet. In this really pretty garden. And now I'm glad that I actually went here. Because this is so pretty. Oh my god, look at Hamilton. He's like, yeah. <laughs> that was the worst impression ever, but okay. Um, there we go. I guess we can talk to him now. Let's introduce ourselves. Oh, they already know each other. How do they know each other? Did I... But Oh, because they're not living together. So they already... Like, they have the... the automatically oh 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 okay now they're okay um let's get to know him and maybe just talk and maybe secure a vote because debate politics from the right because i feel like they would debate politics since alexander actually was a debate politics from the left <laughs> so let's do every single angle i guess uh, he's embarrassed because uh, Flip-flopping politics. <laughs> Changing poli political beliefs mid-conversation makes George look uncertain and unprofessional. No one trusts the public servants that can't decide where they stand on the issues. Sorry. <laughs> okay, but at least they're partners now. I still don't know if he's left or right now. Um, let's discuss interests. And... Till uh, bright and day. <laughs> Oops. And then maybe secure votes. Let's try. I just wanted them to meet so I can like invite them over and you know, just have conversations and. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know that I would show up. Oh, <laughs> they're cute. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> This does not look like it's going well. Or does it? Or is he just really passionate? He's just really passionate. Okay. Whew. That's okay. Thanks to a strong command of the issue, a confident demeanor, and maybe just a few empty promises. 
politics in that sentence, George successfully, sec successfully secured Alexander's vote. Okay, so now I want them both, both to travel and go meet Lawrence and Lafayette. Because they should all be friends and know each other. And because I like that, and they can have parties and like be in a group together, and I don't know, hang out and go to the pub and <sighs> fun times, fun times. Okay, um, let's go to their house and uh, meet them. So Jeffries, but I want to go. Who are you? <laughs> Why, why do you know those people? I don't know. <laughs> Things happen when I'm not around. <laughs> that I don't, I'm not sure about um, what I'm going to do anymore. Okay, so Hamilton and Lawrence shippers should be really excited about right now. Because Lawrence and Hamilton are going to meet. Nothing's going to happen yet, but they're going to meet. And that also leads me to the question of the day. Because the shipping war has been real. Again, be nice to each other. Please respect each other's opinion. You can debate on whether you are agree, whether you agree with each other or not, but just be respectful and nice and all of those fun things that I need to say because people are really passionate and I just want a nice and pleasant comment section. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, and we're going to vote again, but this time we're going to vote on who Hamilton should be in a relationship with first. Important part right there. Who he should be in a relationship with first. And um, they're here. I'm just going to have them meet first and then I will talk about this more, um, I guess, uh, when they meet. Okay, anyway, I'm going to have a vote on who Hamilton should have a relationship with first. First, and the reason I'm doing that is because obviously there's different views on what is going to happen and who we want to be together. Are they down here? I feel like they're always down here at the bar and everything. Oh, they're not this time. Um, I want. Oh, there's Lafayette is making food, and where's Lawrence? Is he upstairs? Maybe then? I guess I'm not seeing him here, so he should be. Or is he not home? I hope he's home. He is home. He's in the bathroom. There he is. Uh, anyway, uh, because people can have a relationship with more than one person. So uh, I'm going to have a vote on who they have a relationship with first. And then we have a vote if we want that to change or have him date the same person or a different person. So keep that in mind when voting. So you might want um, him to have a relationship with Eliza first and then with Lawrence or his First with Lawrence and then with Eliza or first with Angelica and then with Eliza. And now you probably also know the three people that I chose because I've been getting Lawrence and Hamilton sh shipping all over the place. <laughs> I've also been getting shipping with different people for Lawrence, mainly Peggy. Uh, but we will see first who Hamilton dates and then we'll figure out who Lawrence dates when that vote closest because obviously we need two people to be in a relationship so we can't vote for uh, both people anyway so the vote is going to be who do you want Hamilton to be in a relationship with first important part might change um, might not be till the end of his life might be to the end of his life we'll see how that goes but you know keep that in mind so I'm not getting like angry comments when I decide to change it later on uh, the three options are going to be Lawrence, because lots of Lawrence and Hamilton shipping, uh, Angelica and Eliza, because those are the two. I like um, my personal ship is probably Hamilton and Angelica, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I like Hamilton and Angelica together, so I'm going to put it in the vote two as an option and then Eliza and Hamilton, obviously like the main story who they actually ended up with. So. I needed to include that too. So the votes are going to be Hamilton with Eliza, Hamilton with Angelica, and Hamilton with Lawrence. Uh, and you can vote in the eye in the corner and also on Twitter. Um, so if you want to keep up when, with when I do those votes on Twitter and vote like multiple times, so your vote counts two times if you're really passionate about it, you can follow me on Twitter so you can... Um, actually see when I do that. And now I'm going to have George talk with Lafayette and <laughs> yes, Hamilton talk with Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence and Hamilton shippers, be ready. <laughs> oh, he needs to go to the toilets. Okay, well, go do that. And then I will have 
Alexander, go upstairs. Oh, Lawrence is going downstairs. That's good. Okay. Oh my god, they're meeting. They actually they actually match their clothes mat matched. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Okay, okay. Brace yourselves. It's going to happen. They're going to talk. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, so many people walking around here. Oh, there we go. Yay, they're talking! <laughs> it's in a really awkward spot. I really wanted screenshots, but they're just like in awkward spots. Maybe I should have them sit down somewhere. Maybe on this like couch over here. Where's La where's La where's Lawrence? Lawrence, oh, you are coming. Are you? No, you're not. But I, I want you to talk, <laughs> please. I really want Hamilton and Lawrence to know each other. They need to be really good friends because they should be. They can be in a relationship and also be good friends. Okay, let's go. Let's move up the walls so we can actually take a good look at this. There we go. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Aww. That's cute. I like them. Oh, they are cute. I'm having so much fun with this. I feel like this episode is way too long. And also way too much editing work because the audio messed up. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god, they met. I'm happy. But I guess that's it for this episode because I've been going on for way too long about this. So don't forget to vote. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and you want to. Uh, and also leave your suggestions in the comments on what you want me to do next week or in the future of this Let's Play. Be nice to each other and thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye!